Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to run an illustration for National Life Group's Flex Life 2 Index Universal Life Policy. What we're going to start is by going to the website nationallife.com or you can even go to nationallifegroup.com. Either way, it will bring you here to their homepage. Now all you need to do is go ahead and log in using the credentials, username and password that was assigned to you when you first got appointed with National Life Group like I'm doing at this time right now. Now what that's going to do, it's going to bring you to your agent portal or dashboard and when you come to the dashboard you see several things here that you can go ahead and explore for right now we're going to go up to the upper left hand corner where it says illustrations and simply go ahead and click on that link right there it brings us right here to the illustration software that is an online version not the desktop version and to run an illustration all we're going to do is simply click on the new illustration link right there and it opens up this new window now this new window comes pre-populated with a lot of things primarily the state in which you are appointed that for me is california you see where it says product type default to index universal life and sales concept is basic illustration what we're going to do is simply select the product in this in this case flex life 2 which is going to set up everything you need for the illustration now we're going to take it from the top uh, where it says illustration at the top you simply default again to the state in which you're appointed which in this case is california so i don't have to change anything what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure I input the name of the client, both first and last name. And that's important simply because of the fact that at the end, we're going to generate a report and we want it to make sure that it's customized with the client's name. Now, also, we're going to put obviously sex, in this case, it being a male, and then the date of birth. Now, it's very important that you always use the date of birth and not an age simply because some products are based on their last year or age attained. Others are within whatever age they have coming within the next six months and so in this example we're just going to use march 1st as in birth date 1982 and as you'll notice where it says issue age where it says 45 right now as soon as you click away it'll update it to the correct issue age again issue age being depending on the product either the last attained age or the closest age usually within the next six months so if the client says i'm actually 34 right now that probably means they're going to turn 35 within the next six months uh, below that we're going to go to risk information and we're going to leave it at rate class verified standard non-tobacco if that's what the, it is or if they are smokers you, you would select that but we're going to leave it at where it's at right now and that's pretty much it for this tab we're going to go here to the, on the left and click on death benefit and funding and when we do that it brings us right here now we're going to uh, take it from the top once again under tax and compliance at the top it says life insurance compliance test leave it alone under a guideline premium test mech avoidance leave it at none and then we just simply go down to where it says face amount in this example i don't want it to solve for anything so i'm going to specify so i'm gonna leave it at none i'm gonna drop down where it says specify amount and i'm going to go to the right and type in five hundred thousand dollars and that's what i'm going to use then down here and this says death benefit option i'm going to click on the drop down menu and select increasing for this particular scenario now that's pretty much it for the death benefit portion, I'm gonna scroll down where it says premium, and premium refers to how much the client is going to pay for the half a million dollar IUL. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna select, first of all, monthly or EFT, electronic fund transfers, meaning that this is gonna be funded via someone's checking account. They're gonna debit his checking account. And when I drop below that, it says premium soft type. Again, for this type of scenario, we're gonna leave it alone at none. And then right below that under the type we're going to leave it at target premium that's pretty much it so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead to the upper left hand corner and click on quick view and when i click on quick view it's going to calculate all the numbers and there it is so kind of highlight some of the important factors that you need to be aware of obviously we're verifying that it is a five hundred thousand dollar face amount and also very important here is how much this is going to cost the client on the monthly basis we are cho choosing modal premium uh, monthly so we want to make sure that we know what the premium is going to be and in this example for this individual at this age for that half a million dollars of uh, the IUL index universal life policy the premium every month would be four hundred and twenty five dollars and forty two cents and so that's it right there and at this point all we're going to simply do is just scroll down and look at the numbers now for the uh, the spirit of time here you'll see that this first column shows the policy year and this is the age at any given policy year as well. And then of course the plan premium is simply the $425.42 annualized, which would give us $5,105 a year. 
And so as you'll see real quickly that after 10 years of paying the 5105, uh, this person has paid $51,050. They have 43,000 available in cash value. Once the 10 years are over, there's absolutely zero surrender charges left at that point. Uh, also, as you can scroll down further at 20 year point, after 20 years with this policy having paid $102,100, they have $147,000 in the form of cash value. And then lastly here, for the sake of this uh, example, after 30 years, as you see down here, the client has paid $153,000 in premiums for the policy, but they have $340,000, which they can do whatever it is that they want. Not only that, but of course, they've had the peace of mind that comes with the permanent life insurance that the IUL is, along with the living benefits. If they qualify for all three, then they have the terminal critical, as well as the chronic illness, that again gives them that much more value and peace of mind as well and then once you're done with this whole thing the next step is pretty simple once the client sees this and they maybe want to take a copy with them to go or something like that what you're going to do is you're going to go to reports on the left hand side where i'm hovering over right now and i'm going to go ahead and click on reports when you click on reports this window opens up and you'll see a box next to flex live 2. all i'm going to do is click on that box and it's going to go ahead and check off everything i need for a full illustration. So once I click this box like I did right now, I'm gonna to go to the bottom portion and click on Run Reports. When I click on Run Reports, it's gonna give me, again, a full, and I do mean full, illustration highlighting everything and anything that the client needs to know to make an informed decision. As you can see, this is page one of 36. It's a thorough illustration. And so what you would do at this point is just simply download it, either by clicking on the download arrow that you see here or whatever shows up on your particular browser. But when you do download it, make sure you save it somewhere and save it with the client's name in it. In this example, I would be using something like Joe Smith 500K IUL illustration. So I know what it is, I know for how much, and of course I know whose illustration it is. So then I can go ahead and email it to them and they can either print it out, review it on their device, whatever that might be, and so on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the actual dashboard right here where we were running the illustration. So the client sees it, I show it to him, or to her you know on the screen and the next step is they want to apply so all i would simply do at that point is i would go ahead and click on the i go e app submission button that i'm hovering over right now the green button and it would go ahead and pre-populate everything that i inputted here into the actual application making it that much faster to get the application in the system and so it's very important for you to use accurate spelling accurate information when it comes to date of birth and so on because whatever you input here again will be transferred to the application making it that much faster to go in there and then lastly what i would recommend i'm going back to the actual full illustration i would encourage everybody here to make sure that you become familiar with everything the nomenclature and everything that is spoken about here in this actual illustration so that you become that much more confident and at the same time your clients are that much more informed as to the product that you're giving them and so again study this and you know make sure that you understand all aspects of it so when you're explaining this illustration to them you're doing so in a very intelligent manner as well. All right, I hope this helped. Thank you for your time, and I wish you nothing but success. Thank you.